Hello everyone. Today, we're going to elevate your online store by showcasing multiple collections within a single product tab on Shopify. So, let's dive right in. Firstly, to showcase your product collection in the product tab section, it's crucial that all of the products are assigned to collections. To verify this, navigate to the Shopify dashboard and select the product option from the left side menu. Then click on the collections option and ensure that products have been added to the collection. If not, you can assign all the products to a new collection by clicking on the Create Collection option at the top right. For this tutorial, I'll be using three collections that I've already set up. T-shirt collection, mask collection, and garden theme. Now, let's start adding these collections to the product tab section. Click on the online store option, choose your theme, and then click Customize. Once you're in the theme customization page, click Add section on the left side and search for the product tab section. Click on it to add it to your page. With the product tab section successfully added, we can start populating it with our product collections. Click on the first collection name, I am going to rename this as T-Shirts. Then select Collection. And choose the T-Shirt collection. I'll also assign icons for this collection. I'll repeat this same process for the mask collection. And garden collection. Now that we've assigned our product collections to these sections, let's delve into deeper customization for this section. Click on the Product tab option and you'll notice more options appear on the right-hand side. Here you can enable Full Width for this section using the Full Width option. You can also enable Right and Left Spacing which only works if Full Width is enabled. You can modify the heading using this field and adjust its size using this option. You can also change the subheading, description, button label, and link the button to any page using these fields. Start with the Outline Button Style option. This handy feature gives you the power to enable or disable the outline style for your buttons, offering a sleek and modern look to your store. Next, we have the alignment of columns. You have the flexibility to align your columns either to the left or center, depending on your design preference. Now, let's talk about color. With Shopify, you can easily change the color scheme of this section using a simple drop-down menu. This allows you to ensure that your store always matches your brand aesthetics. With the maximum products to show slider bar, you can control how many products are visible in this section. Additionally, the maximum products per row slider bar lets you decide how many products are displayed per row. Shopify also offers options to enable or disable slider functionality, slider pagination, and slider navigation. These features provide a dynamic and interactive experience for your customers. You also have control over the tab title, item count, and tab icon. These can be enabled or disabled based on your preference. If a collection has more products than shown, you can enable view all buttons. This allows customers to explore all the products in a separate collection page. The alignment of this tab can be set to either left, center, or right, giving you more control over your page layout. Promo images can be a great way to attract customer attention. These can be placed alongside the product tab section and you can swap this promo image either left or right using the desktop layout tab. It's important to note that there are numerous options related to promo images that we won't be covering in this video, but I encourage you to explore these on your own to further customize your store. Finally, if you want to increase or decrease padding for a more compact or spacious look, you can use section padding. Once you've made all these changes, don't forget to save them and click on Preview. You'll then see your new product tab section beautifully displayed on your page. And that's a wrap up. If you have any doubt, please drop it in the comment section below. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more Shopify tutorial. Thanks for watching.